until you die. Get up. And the Lord, by with your faith, because of your faith and because of your obedience and actions, he can heal you. He can lift your head. Because if the head doesn't lift, the rest of the body will not lift. Or maybe if the rest of the body doesn't lift, when will the head ever lift? Even if your head is down and you're also seated or down or lying down, you must lift your head first before you can get up. And have you ever noticed in so many deliverance services that the deliverance minister will say to the person they are ministering to, look at me, look at me. That means lift your head. Because if the enemy captures your head, he has captured seven of the nine gates of your body. And we're talking about being outside the gate. We're talking about a physical gate, but we're talking about spiritual gates too. So if the enemy captures your head, he has captured seven of the nine gates of your body because seven of them are in and on your head. And this is how you may feel in your feels when the mind is captured. If the head is captured, a person may feel depressed or forgetful or hurt. Their prayer life may have dried up. Their mind may be wandering. There may be sleep wave, especially when you try to pray or study. There may be severe, unexplainable headaches, blank mind, mind fog, brain fog, forgetfulness, senior moments. I have told you that a senior moment is not to be laughed at or accepted. It is demonic. It is not of God. That person whose mind is captured may be suffering confusion or lack of concentration or understanding. As I said, especially when reading the Bible. Then you may have feelings of things crawling or moving in your head. And I ask you now, have you been eating in the dream in the past, but you haven't done anything about it? Eating in the dream doesn't necessarily affect you tomorrow. It could be years, months, weeks, or even, as I said, years down the line where the enemy then decides to activate this thing. Do something about eating in the dream. It is not free food. It is demonic. That person whose mind is captured may be suffering dream afflictions, having crazy dreams and nightmares almost every night, evil visions as soon as they close their eyes, feeling controlled, seeing dead people in the dreams or hallucinations in the daytime, thoughts of the dead, thoughts of death and suicide. Those are not your thoughts. Thoughts of death and suicide are not your thoughts. They are demonic and they're coming from demonic spirits and entities. And that is from the demons that are on assignment to try to drive you crazy, drive you nuts. But what they're really trying to do is to get you to agree with their death program for your life. And how do they do that? Well, if you do nothing about what they are sending you, it's the same as if you're agreeing with it. I'll say all of that again. Thoughts of death, thoughts of suicide are not your thoughts. They are from demons. And these demons are on assignment to try to get you to agree with their program. That is to drag you down to death. And if you do nothing about what they are sending you, that means you don't say anything about it. You don't tell anybody. You may not have to tell anybody. The Lord may not want you to confess it, but confess it to the Lord. And you need to reject it. You need to rebuke those demons. You need to cast them out. You need to come into some warfare yourself. Or if you can't do it, find somebody who can help you. Those are not your thoughts. That is being sent to you. And by doing nothing, you are agreeing with them.